All right, what's going on, guys? I just finished watching the Cowboys and Eagles game. That was quite the experience. My expectations were extremely low going into it, but somehow it was even worse than I imagined. Like, I, I think, honestly, at this point, we need to stop putting the NFC East in primetime games. Like, I'm, I'm just tired of watching, man. Like, if it wasn't for fantasy, I probably wouldn't even watch those games. But anyways, aside from that, today, we are going to be taking a look at what I would say... I don't even know how to explain this. Basically, this guy was down bad, okay? Like, he was down real bad, all right? This guy was starving, okay? He just needed a little crumb. That's it, just a crumb to satisfy his hunger. But unfortunately, he didn't get it. So let me try to set the scene for you real quick. Basically, this girl posted some pictures on Twitter, as girls usually do. And of course, we all know how the replies can get on some of these posts. But there was one reply in particular that caught everyone's attention because I got to give him some props at least. This guy really did put a lot of effort into it at the very least. You know, we could say that. I actually went through and counted the words and it was actually a total of 485 words. Like that's a lot. You know, that's approaching essay status. Like you do a little bit more and you know, you could submit that for English class. You know what I'm saying? So that's quite a lot of effort. So I do have to give him a little bit of credit on that one. Now, that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look and I'm going to read the entire thing before I comment on it. So with that being said, let's get started. I know we don't know each other very well considering we are only mutuals on that dumb bird app, but I see you in a very special light. The moment I saw you in Trey's group chat, I fell in love. I thought you were the prettiest woman to ever exist on this earth. We had a small interaction where I cracked a few jokes and you actually followed me back. Thanks for that, by the way. Uh, never thought I stood a chance with you, so I never interacted with you besides the occasional like and joking reply on a tweet or two, but sometime throughout that same week, I started to notice that you shined in the way you interacted with everyone. You stood out to me because of the way you presented yourself. You're nothing like any other girl I've met on this app. You're funny, independent, quirky, and very cultured, I might add. You've put yourself in a position where you have guys chasing you since you don't seem to need anyone, let alone a man, to shine as bright as you do. I, too, fell for your unparalleled charm and demeanor. It's simply irresistible to me. Even if you're not looking for a partner currently, allow me to tell you why I am the right person. Um, so yes, allow me to introduce myself. I'm, this is where he put his at, I had to block it out, on Twitter who goes by V. And yes, as you're reading it correctly, I am in love with you. I know there are plenty of men who wish to have her. However, neither of them would commit themselves to you completely like I would. They don't care for you like I do. They don't feel as strongly towards you as I do. Although bold statements, I hope that by writing this document, you will finally realize how much you mean to me. Seeing you interact with all of them is very funny, but sometimes I get jealous and wish you talked to me like that and meant it. Unfortunately, I do realize that we haven't had a full-blown conversation privately, but by interacting with you in short bursts, I can already tell that you'd be an amazing person to talk to all day. You're the type of girl I'd really want to hang out with IRL just to kick it back and have dumb, funny combos about things that don't matter, but in the moment, we would be having the time of our lives. 
You're someone I see a future with, maybe traveling across the country and or the world, making precious memories with the woman I'm giving my all to. Whether it be your funny images, stupid sayings, or random ass ideas, I love everything about you. And with that, here's my proposal to becoming yours as long as we can make it last. I would like to hold you close forever, sincerely, and then he put his name again. Wow, that's a lot to take in. I'm, I'm trying to really digest everything that I just read, you know, it's quite a lot. First of all, let me just say this. This is why you gotta jerk off before you get on Twitter, man. Like, you see what happens if you don't, man? You see? Like, you get caught lacking, you know? Now everyone thinks you're a freak because you wrote that, you know? Where this all could have been easily avoided had you just followed that very simple advice. I think that's really just advice for life in general, you know? A lot of bad decisions were made because your judgment was just clouded, you know? You gotta get that clarity. Sometimes that's really the best course of action. Now, aside from that... I don't know if this guy was the one who originally came up with this or not. Maybe he took this from somewhere else or whatever. I don't know. I don't think it really matters, honestly, because somebody somewhere actually wrote this out. You know, I just can't imagine any situation where you say this and it ends up going well. You know what I mean? Like, there's just no way any girl would read that and, like, react in a positive manner. You really just don't come off very well, you know? You, you give off some Joe Goldberg vibes. I just couldn't imagine, like, unironically typing this out. Like, as a joke, okay, sure, but I just have to wonder what went wrong in life for somebody to turn out this way, you know? You just you just have to wonder, you know? This is the type of shit that gets you put on a list. But yeah, that's basically it for the video. I think it pretty much speaks for itself. Bottom line, lesson of the day, don't ever type anything like that out, all right? I promise you, it's, it's not gonna be a good thing. So anyways, new consoles coming out in like a week or so now, I believe. I think they literally come out like the day or two days before the new COD drops. So I'm not even sure what I'm gonna be doing with Call of Duty this year because I didn't even get a PlayStation pre-order. I did get an Xbox, but I was planning on only playing Halo on Xbox and they delayed Halo. So I don't even need the Xbox pre-order right now. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's a first world problem, I guess, but I'm not really sure. I think, honestly, I might just stay on PS4 until they restock some PS5s and I can get one, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it's getting to that time, man. New Call of Duty coming out very soon. I'm, I'm a little excited, I guess you could say. I did like that leak that they they put out on the kill streaks. I made a video talk about it on my second channel, but Blackbird is back, so that's like the biggest news. Blackbird is just it's so important, man. So I'm happy they brought it back, but we'll see. So, anyways, like I said, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Check out my last video if you missed it. We did a vid on Kim K because she posted some stupid shit on Twitter. But other than that, thank you guys once again for watching. Have a good day and peace out.